Welcome to our channel Factory, where we bring you fascinating insights and untold stories about historical events that shaped our world. In this episode, we will take you back in time to the turn of the millennium, a time when the world was captivated by the dot-com boom. But as we all know, this boom came to a sudden and catastrophic end, leading to the infamous tech bubble burst of 2001. Join us as we explore the top 10 facts that led to this event and uncover the hidden truths behind one of the most significant economic collapses in modern history. Fact number 1. Excessive investment in dot-com companies. The first fact that led to the tech bubble burst of 2001 was the excessive investment in dot-com companies. Investors poured large amounts of money into these companies, even if they had little to no revenue or profit. This resulted in overvaluation of these companies, which eventually led to their downfall. Fact number two, overestimation of internet growth. The second fact was the overestimation of the growth of the internet. Investors believed that the internet would continue to grow at an unprecedented rate, leading to huge profits for dot-com companies. However, the growth rate was unsustainable, and when it slowed down, it resulted in a decline in the value of dot-com companies. Fact number three, lack of due diligence. The third fact was the lack of due diligence. Investors failed to conduct proper research and analysis before investing in dot-com companies. This resulted in investments in companies with no clear business model, unsustainable revenue streams, and poor management. Fact number four, unrealistic valuations. The fourth fact was the unrealistic valuations of dot-com companies. Companies were valued based on their potential rather than their actual revenue and profit. This led to inflated valuations that were not supported by the actual financial performance of these companies. Fact number five, excessive spending on advertising. The fifth fact was the excessive spending on advertising. Dot-com companies spent huge amounts of money on advertising campaigns to promote their brand and attract customers. This resulted in a high burn rate, which meant that companies were burning through cash faster than they were generating revenue. Fact number six, misleading financial statements. The sixth fact was the misleading financial statements of dot-com companies. Many companies use creative accounting practices to inflate their revenue and profit figures. This misled investors and created a false sense of security about the financial health of these companies. Fact number seven, lack of revenue diversity. The seventh fact was the lack of revenue diversity in dot-com companies. Many companies relied on a single product or service for their revenue stream. This made them vulnerable to market fluctuations in competition. Fact number 8, Market Saturation. The eighth fact was market saturation. As more and more dot-com companies entered the market, competition intensified, and it became increasingly difficult for companies to differentiate themselves and attract customers. This led to a decline in revenue and profit for many companies. Fact number 9, Economic Recession. The ninth fact was the economic recession that began in 2001. The recession led to a decline in consumer spending, which had a significant impact on dot-com companies. Many companies were unable to generate revenue and were forced to shut down. Fact number 10, Investor Panic. The final fact was Investor Panic. As dot-com companies began to fail and the market declined, investors panicked and sold off their shares. This resulted in a further decline in the market and the eventual burst of the tech bubble. Conclusion In conclusion, the tech bubble burst of 2001 was a significant event that had a profound impact on the global economy. The 10 facts that led to its cause included excessive investment in dot-com companies, overestimation of internet growth, lack of due diligence, unrealistic valuations, excessive spending on advertising, misleading financial statements, lack of revenue diversity, market saturation, economic recession, and investor panic. It's important to understand these factors. Subscribe for more.